Looking at the analysis this far on Arabian Nonsense, you have continued to maintain that Delta State has not shown purposeful governance since, in your analysis, they have not been able to establish themselves in any sector as number one, number two, or number three. Are there areas in your view you feel Delta State has not paid attention to that if they pay sufficient attention to could make a sizable difference? Okay, thank you very much for that question. Um, you see, like I said, Delta states, you know, being well positioned by nature, being well positioned by nature, supposed to be taking advantage of our, endow our endowments. For instance, we look at Anambra states on a chart precisely. You know the volume of trade that is going on in our nature. The volume of economy, economic activity that is going on in our nature. And Delta states being the closest, Asaba being the closest to our nature, even closer than some of the Anambra towns and villages to our nature. We are not taking the due advantage to replicate what is happening in our nature in Delta states. It's worrisome, you know, it's worrisome. We have a very, an expanse of land bordering the bridge there that with the very minimal efforts can be reclaimed and thousands of shops will be set up there and it will be like it will be like the main market annex a lot of them that uh, own shops in Onicha they will come they will come to the place to have a shop a lot of deltans that wants to do business we also have the availability of those to do to do business and the, 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 the tax or royalty or whatever it may be called will be coming to government. But again, government has not looked uh, 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 to that direction. You know, on a we where it is positioned, a lot of people come from Benin, from Wari, from Ondo to do business in Onicha. Can you think of if we have such markets, you know? at the bank of that river, close to the bridge, would there be any need for these people to cross, to go to Onecha, to go to Onecha, to, to, to um, buy their goods? They will eventually stop here and you see business activities. Why am I emphasizing on uh, all, um, all these? You know, these are stimulants to economic growth. You do not want to talk about economic growth if you're not talking about improving your in, as in industries building industries what of trade trading what of agriculture you understand these are stimulants that brings about a viable economic growth and everybody will benefit individuals governments everybody will benefit it should not be civil service, civil service. Okay, now think about it. The last time that civil service gave job was around so many years ago, during the time of Uduaha. This administration, maybe for one reason or the other, uh, didn't want to continue, they dropped, not until recently, that about a thousand and we were recalled. And since then now, there has not been any civil service employment because it is not what it is not something that comes often. There has not been employment. It means that a lot of people that are also looking out for civil service job that have graduated for more than five, six years, they are still redundant. They are not employed. They are either, you know, catering on their own or the, or the other. So what is the responsibility of government to see the economic viability, uh, viability of estates? So this is what we are talking about. Like I said earlier, 
And we are not talk, we are not saying this to berate anybody, to berate any. But we want we want Delta State to be what it should be by the by by the pedestal by the pedestal on which Delta stands. It stands above a lot of states. It is not with it is not with pride that I'm mentioning states like Jigawa, Kiti. It's not with pride. You understand? We okay. Let us say we want to channel our internal revenue, internal revenue, Delta State internal revenue, to building of industries, doing real empowerment, building of industries. Do, we, do you, you know? It's a feat. We achieve a feat that other states cannot even think of. So the resources, the resources are there. Both human, material, and the financial. We have it. We are privileged to have it above some states. So let's deploy those resources to purposeful achievements. Purposeful achievements, that's it. Uh